The purpose of this video is to explain for our Shenandoah teachers how the grading is going to work for quarter four. Uh, most importantly, the focus will be on why we're asking teachers to, to use evidence of learning or not yet learned, which we abbreviate as EOL or NYL for individual assignments in the Infinite Campus Gradebook for quarter four. We have made the decision that quarter four overall will receive an EOL or NYL, which loosely translates to pass fail, although the not yet learned is uh, probably more appropriate than fail in this case. We know we're going to be doing that for quarter four, and therefore, after a lot of consideration, decided that the uh, best thing would be to ask individual teachers to record for unique assignments that EOL, NYL in the grade book also, uh, so that it wasn't confusing as we went along. And we have a number of reasons for that, which I will explain. If you've already entered uh, numeric grades for quarter four because you didn't know this information, that's fine. They can stay there. Uh, but over time, it doesn't make sense to continue this process. We know that student experiences are varied. Uh, what's happening in households is wide and very different. And uh, it, it's important for us to consider all of our students when we make these types of decisions. We know our teachers have done a great job. Uh, we've heard that from our parents. We've heard it from administrators and even some students. But this is not business as usual. It is not business as usual for teachers who are trying to function at home. Uh, it is not business as usual for students who are trying to learn at home and be self-motivated in sometimes um, chaotic environments or where there are a lot of uh, people trying to do work all at once. Uh, and this is just a different experience for people everywhere. And so to think that we would go on as normal uh, doesn't make a lot of sense in this case. And we know that there are challenges everywhere for our students and our families. There are concerns about safety and illness. There are financial strains in some of our households and certainly anxieties. We've heard many stories about limited bandwidth. In fact, some of us have experienced it ourselves where our children are trying to access their coursework while we're trying to work. Uh, and we do have a number of parents reminding us that they did not sign up to be their child's teacher, which we say, we understand. Uh, this is a new process for everyone. It's new for our students. It's new for our teachers. It's entirely untested. It's not like we can say, oh, last time we were 100% uh, e-learning. Uh, this is what we did. Uh, and so we think rather than trying to give precise numeric grades for quarter four, it's better to just capture evidence of learning or mark it as not yet learned. We know that there are no p-values for assessments administered in this fashion, or there's no uh, validity or reliability to some of the assessments that we're coming up with. It doesn't mean that they're not good, and it doesn't mean that they don't measure learning. But to try to do so in such a precise fashion, excuse me, probably does not make a lot of sense. It's a great time to start focusing on those prioritized learning standards, knowing that you can't really replicate everything that you would have been doing in the classroom in an online uh, fashion. And, and many of you are working very hard to try to convert it uh, in a way that makes sense, but it, it isn't the same. It's not designed to be the same. We also know that with the fact that we don't intend to give a numeric grade for quarter four, it's somewhat confusing to have a running numeric tally in the grade book, even though we could shut that off for parents and students, we can't shut it off for teachers. And so if you had been intending to mix evidence of learning or not yet learned, uh, it would average uh, incorrectly with the numeric grades assigned and therefore it would actually look confusing uh, in the grade book. Teachers are still encouraged to give students ample feedback. That feedback can come in the form of a numeric grade if that's what you prefer. That numeric grade could go in Google Classroom. It could go in the comments section, or you don't have to. You can give evidence of learning and you can give uh, other types of feedback, which actually often give students even more information, such as direct comments from you or individual conferencing with you. At this time, we know learning is the most important. We would love to say that learning is always the most important, but sometimes that gets very confused with grades, particularly as we receive a lot of pressure from some students and parents of the over grades. But we are a learning institution. That's what we want to focus on and uh, to find ways to motivate students to learn. Absent use of numeric grades is, is going to be important. It's going to be important lifelong uh, for students to understand that. We really encourage teachers to continue reaching out. The parent feedback we've received thus far has been 
very positive. A lot of kudos to our teachers for their quick transition and uh, coming up with meaningful work for students to be doing at home. Parents are emphasizing again and again what they appreciate most are the teacher-student direct connections where their children can see their teachers and have opportunities to interact with the, the teachers live through office hours uh, or scheduled Google Meets in advance. Uh, those opportunities are giving the children the confidence that they need to move forward, better understanding of the material, and also that really important social connection in a time where many people uh, can start to feel very isolated. So I hope that provides a brief overview about why we're asking teachers to do the evidence of learning not yet learned on individual assignments for quarter four in the gradebook. We will be developing a similar message for students and parents. We know it may not be entirely popular, but based on all the research that we've done and consideration we've given, we do think it is the better of the options at this point. Thanks to all of you, uh, our Shenandoah teachers, for doing an amazing job uh, during this time, and we hope to see you in person soon.